Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from LearnHyperMission.com. In this video, I will show you how you can delete Docker Compose application using Docker Desktop. So these are certain uh, Docker Compose file which I have executed and these are the projects which I have. So let's say if I want to delete this particular project, so I will select this and the moment I click on delete forever, I will come across this issue called cannot remove Docker Compose application. The reason is there was the Docker Compose file in this particular folder which I have deleted. But in Docker desktop it is still visible. So it is always throwing me this message the moment I try to delete this. Let's try one more time. And since this project is not available, it will give you this warning. So how you can remove this from the Docker desktop? So what you can do, you can first start the terminal or if you're using Windows, you can use command prompt. Now just type da docker ps hyphen a and you will see that I have multiple containers in my particular system. So what you need to do, you can click on this expand option and you can see when I executed this docker compose file, it actually created three different containers. Firefox video one, edge video one, chrome video one. So in order to delete this, first I have to stop them and then I can remove from here. So let's say I copied this. Now I will clear this and type docker stop. So this particular container stopped. Now I can say docker rm and then I can remove. Okay, so now Firefox gone. Similarly, I can try for edge. So let's say docker stop. First stop this, then docker rm. So it got deleted. Same thing I will do for Chrome as well. So docker stop and then docker rm and the container id and yes, it's deleted. So now I will not be able to see that particular project. And in case if you try with other projects also, you will come across the same issue because these projects has been deleted from a local, but it was available in the Docker desktop. So that's a quick video. I will thought I will create a video on this. So in case if you come across this issue, you can directly remove the container from the command prompt or terminal. Very quick video, but very important one. So if you like this video, please share with your colleagues who are working uh, in DevOps or they're playing with Docker containers. Let me know if you need any other video on the same topic and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care.